What if the secret to happiness wasn't in what you have, but in letting go of the need to compare? Imagine a life where your joy isn't dictated by the achievements or possessions of others, but by your own sense of fulfillment and peace. What if instead of measuring our worth against others, we focused on our own unique paths and the progress we've made? We live in a world obsessed with comparison. From the moment we wake up and check our phones to the time we go to bed, we are bombarded with images and stories of other people's lives. Social media, advertisements, and even casual conversations often revolve around who has what, who is doing better, and who seems happier. We size up our homes, our jobs, our relationships, even our vacations against those of others. We look at the luxury cars, the big houses, the exotic vacations, and we can't help but feel a twinge of envy. We wonder why we don't have those things, why our lives don't look as glamorous or successful. But this constant comparison can be a trap, a thief of joy. It can lead to feelings of inadequacy, stress and unhappiness. When we constantly compare ourselves to others, we lose sight of our own achievements and the things that truly matter to us. We become so focused on what we lack that we forget to appreciate what we have. It's time to break free, to let go of the need to compare and to start appreciating our own unique journeys. To understand that happiness is not about having more than others, but about finding contentment in our own lives. It's about recognizing that we are enough, just as we are. This is a journey about finding happiness in a world that thrives on comparison. It's about learning to focus on our own goals and dreams rather than getting distracted by what others are doing. It's about building a life that is meaningful and fulfilling to us, regardless of how it compares to others. It's about understanding the impact of this comparison culture, recognizing its pitfalls, and choosing a path of personal growth and self-acceptance. By acknowledging the negative effects of constant comparison, we can start to make conscious choices to step away from it. We can seek out resources like self-help books and workshops that help us build our self-esteem and focus on our own growth. We'll explore how to curate our own happiness, step away from the constant barrage of comparisons, and embrace the beauty of our own unique journeys. This might mean taking a break from social media, spending more time on hobbies we love, or simply taking a moment each day to appreciate the small joys in our lives. Let's find our way back to ourselves, to a place of genuine contentment and peace. Let's reconnect with what truly makes us happy and let go of the need to compare. By doing so, we can create a life that is rich in meaning and joy, a life that is truly our own. Social media has become a breeding ground for comparison. Platforms like Instagram and Facebook often showcase carefully curated versions of reality. We see the highlight reels, the perfectly filtered photos, the stories of success and adventure. It's easy to get lost in this maze of curated perfection, forgetting that it rarely reflects the full picture. This constant exposure to idealized versions of others' lives can fuel feelings of inadequacy and insecurity. We start to question our own accomplishments, our appearance, even our worth. The comparison game becomes a dangerous spiral, leaving us feeling anxious, envious, and ultimately deeply unhappy. Imagine scrolling through your social media feed. A friend posts pictures from their exotic vacation. Another celebrates a promotion, and yet another shares snapshots of their seemingly perfect family. You're happy for them, truly, but a pang of envy creeps in. You start to question your own life choices, your own accomplishments, your own happiness. This is the insidious nature of comparison. It thrives on our insecurities, whispering doubts in our ears and magnifying our perceived shortcomings. We get so caught up in what others are doing, what they have, that we lose sight of our own blessings, our own journey. The truth is we all experience this. We've all fallen prey to the comparison trap at some point. It's a natural human tendency to measure ourselves against others, but when comparison becomes a constant source of stress and unhappiness, it's time to take a step back and reassess. It's time to remember that social media is not real life. It's a curated highlight reel, not the full story. And it's certainly not a fair or accurate reflection of our own worth or happiness. Sarah's story lost and found, let's meet Sarah. Sarah is a successful graphic designer. She has spent years honing her craft, 
working tirelessly to build a name for herself in the industry. Her designs are known for their creativity and precision, and she has a loyal client base that appreciates her unique vision. I've built a thriving career, have a loving partner, someone who supports me in all my endeavors and shares my dreams and aspirations, and enjoy a vibrant social life. My friends are my rock, always there to share a laugh or lend an ear when I need it. On paper, my life seems perfect. I have everything I ever wanted, a career I love, a partner who cares for me, and friends who make life enjoyable. Yet I found myself struggling with a persistent sense of unhappiness. Despite all the external success, there was a void inside me that I couldn't fill. I couldn't shake off the feeling that I wasn't good enough, that no matter how much I achieved, it was never enough to satisfy me, that I wasn't doing enough. The pressure to constantly perform and excel was overwhelming, and it took a toll on my mental health. Her social media feeds were a constant source of comparison. Every scroll brought a new wave of self-doubt and insecurity. She'd see her peers achieving milestones, buying homes, traveling the world, and living what seemed to be perfect lives. And she'd feel a knot of anxiety in her chest. The more she compared herself to others, the more inadequate she felt. The more time she spent scrolling, the worse she felt. It was a vicious cycle of comparison and self-criticism that left her feeling drained and unhappy. But Sarah decided to make a change. She realized that her happiness couldn't be measured by the standards of others. She started to focus on what truly mattered to her. She began to engage in activities that brought her joy, like painting, hiking and meditation. These moments of peace and creativity helped her reconnect with herself. She also made an effort to spend quality time with her partner and friends, cherishing the relationships that brought genuine happiness into her life. Slowly but surely, Sarah started to feel a sense of contentment. She learned that true happiness comes from within and that it's okay to not have everything figured out. Today, Sarah walks with a newfound confidence. She knows that her worth isn't defined by her achievements or the lives of others, but by her own sense of self and the love she gives and receives. Sarah's story is a reminder that sometimes we need to lose ourselves to truly find what makes us happy. The breaking point. One evening, after a particularly long day spent scrolling through Instagram, I broke down. I realized that my constant comparisons were stealing my joy. I was so focused on what others had that I couldn't appreciate what I had. I was so busy chasing someone else's definition of success that I'd lost sight of my own. This realization was a turning point for Sarah. She knew she needed to make a change. She needed to break free from the comparison trap and reclaim her happiness. The journey inward. I started by limiting my social media time. I deleted the apps from my phone and set aside specific times to check my feeds on my computer. This allowed me to be more mindful of my consumption and to step away when I felt the comparison game creeping in. She also made a conscious effort to curate her social media feeds. I unfollowed accounts that made me feel inadequate or envious and followed accounts that inspired me, motivated me, or simply made me smile. Finding freedom in gratitude. Most importantly, I started practicing gratitude. It was a small step, but it made a world of difference. I found that by acknowledging the good in my life, I could shift my perspective in profound ways. Each day, I'd write down three things I was grateful for, big or small. It could be something as simple as a warm cup of tea in the morning or a kind word from a friend. These moments, though seemingly insignificant, began to weave a tapestry of positivity in my life. This simple practice helped me shift my focus from what I lacked to what I had. It was a gentle reminder that even in the midst of challenges, there was always something to be thankful for. Over time, this practice became a cornerstone of my daily routine. It reminded her of the abundance in her life and allowed her to appreciate the beauty of her own unique journey. She began to see her life not as a series of obstacles, but as a collection of precious moments and experiences that shaped her. As I continued on my journey, I realized that true happiness wasn't about keeping up with the Joneses. It wasn't about material possessions or external validation. It was about finding joy in the simple, everyday moments. It wasn't about having the most likes or the perfect Instagram feed. Social media can often create a false sense of reality, making us believe that happiness is something to be achieved through comparison and competition. It was about finding contentment and peace within myself. Through gratitude, I learned to appreciate the present moment and to find joy in the here and now. 
This inner peace became my true source of freedom, allowing me to live a more fulfilled and meaningful life. Practicing gratitude also opened my eyes to the beauty of the world around me. I started to notice the little things that I had previously overlooked, the vibrant colors of a sunset, the soothing sound of rain, the warmth of a loved one's embrace. These moments of connection and joy became more meaningful. I realized that the true essence of life lies in these simple yet profound experiences. Gratitude helped me to cultivate a deeper sense of appreciation for the people and moments that truly matter. In the end, finding freedom and gratitude was not just about writing in a journal. It was about embracing a mindset of thankfulness and allowing it to permeate every aspect of my life. It was about recognizing that happiness is not a destination, but a journey, one that is enriched by the practice of gratitude. And so I continue to practice gratitude each day, knowing that it is the key to unlocking a life of true freedom and joy. It is a simple yet powerful tool that has transformed my life in ways I never imagined. Finding your own happiness. Sarah's story is a powerful reminder that we have the power to curate our own happiness. We can choose to step away from the comparison game and focus on our own growth, our own goals, our own definition of success. We can choose to cultivate gratitude for what we have, to celebrate our own accomplishments, and to embrace the beauty of our own unique journeys. The Power of Unfollow One of the most empowering things you can do is to hit the unfollow button. If an account consistently makes you feel inadequate, envious, or negative, let it go. Your mental health is more important than keeping up with someone else's highlight reel. Fill your feed with accounts that inspire you, motivate you, make you laugh, or teach you something new. Choose to surround yourself with positivity and support, both online and offline. Embracing your own path. Remember, your journey is yours alone. It's not a competition. It's not about being better than anyone else. It's about becoming the best version of yourself. Celebrate your accomplishments, no matter how big or small. Embrace your imperfections. Learn from your mistakes and keep moving forward one step at a time. A happier you in a noisier world. Finding happiness in a world full of comparison is a journey, not a destination. It's about shifting your focus from external validation to internal satisfaction. It's about recognizing your worth, embracing your uniqueness, and celebrating your own journey. As you let go of the need to compare, you create space for genuine happiness to blossom. You begin to see the beauty in your own story, the strength in your own resilience, and the joy in simply being you. And that, my friends, is a beautiful thing. If this message resonated with you, hit that like button and share your experiences in the comments below. How have you dealt with comparison in your life and what strategies have helped you find happiness? For more content on self-improvement and mental well-being, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And above all, thanks for watching.